Are you looking for the next craft beer to try? Well, maybe Florida Cracker White Ale from Cigar City is the one for you. Welcome back everybody, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Today we are trying Florida Cracker. This is a 5.5% ABV, 18 IBUs by Untapped. Um, 5.5% is on the can. I'm it's pretty excited definitely. about trying this because I didn't like the, how do you say it? But wasn't there a... Jo high jo lie, high lie. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, I know. You liked that. What was the have. other one I had? Mm, that was I know you had another different one. I did not have it, but I'm... Cracked out word, too. Well, just because you can't say it doesn't yeah. mean it's cracked out. Oh, well. <laughs> anyway. There we go. Ew. Um, Brian. Belgian-style white ale brewed with coriander and orange peel. <laughs> Obviously, is there a date on here? Four twenty-eight eighteen. <clears throat> this is four twenty-four eighteen. What? Oh. Oh my gosh. I'm bad. <laughs> so if you follow it, I couldn't talk in the first one, and I can't see in the second one. It's because you had to work one day in the last <laughs> yeah. week. Uh, so we do have a white head, all small bubbles, about half a finger. Bubbles from the side are like dish soap; they're compacted. Light yellow color, very hazy, lots and lots of bubbles. I can't even make out the uh, light. Lots. Do you have lots of bubbles? Yep, I can see that. I'm really excited about tasting this because it coriander. has some citrus. Some coriander and orange peel. Okay, smell. Belgian yeast. Yeah, that's all I smell. Which I'm probably supposed to smell that, right? Yeah, that's about I all I see. a I tiny bit, and I mean a tiny bit of citrus. I'm going Belgian yeast. Okay. Yeasty smell, like what you would make a cracker from. Like the rising yeast. Yeasty. <laughs> okay. This is your show, right? Can I yep. get up and walk out? Yeah, sure. You can do what you want. Okay, taste. Sorry, my stool's cracking. That's an interesting taste. Out of all the things we've got with coriander and orange peel, this is an interesting... Is it because there's the Belgian yeast mixed with it? That Belgian yeast is very strong yeah, in the is. taste. It like, is. I get a, a big Belgian yeast up front, and then... A tiny bit of citrus and it's gone. I don't get coriander out of this beer. Like the aftertaste is just that Belgian yeast. I don't think it's a bad beer though. It's it's light. Mm -hmm. it's, it's pretty re it'd be smooth. refreshing on a yeah. cold uh, a hot day. A cold one of these. Um, I'm not getting anything overpowering with orange peel or coriander, but maybe a tiny bit of coriander in the back, but. <clears throat> if I didn't know that was in this beer, I would say Belgian yeast almost all the way through, a tiny bit of citrus, and that's it. Aftertaste, as it warms up, is yeasty. <clears throat> yeah. I'd agree with that. Like, it's almost, <clears throat> and I don't know this for sure, it's almost like it's too light to let those flavors come out and that Belgian yeast just takes it all over because it it's, <clears throat> it's light. The grain bill is probably not heavy, obviously, for a 5.5 and because it's light in color. Okay. <clears throat> um, obviously, I don't, it's not sweet, so I don't think they're using Belgian like candy syrup, like clear okay. to up the ABV. They could be, I guess, a little because of the color. Yeah. But um, I don't know how else you would get a beer this color without, I guess, a lot of two row or pills or something like that. But you're going off in a direction yeah. that I'm not really familiar with following. But 
I would say that I'm I'm gonna go like I did. It's a three. It's like average. I'm just not getting anything spectacular yeah. here. Yeah, that Belgian yeast really takes over. I would go 3.5. Um, it's an interesting beer. If you like Belgian beers where you can really taste that yeast. Yeah, this one's for you then for sure. It's more, to me, it's more on the cracker side because <clears throat> obviously you're using yeast to in the cracker. Yeah. So I would say it's on for that, but I thought coriander was strong. I don't think no. not in all cases, clearly. Yeah. I'll I don't go. think that flavor I'd um, go three five. Okay. Nothing bad, nothing good. It's I interesting. Could, it's interesting. I thought it would taste better. I could see buying this and drinking it on a hot day. Just yeah, but for would you something, buy would you buy a six pack of it? I don't know. No, I think I would go with one of the IPAs. That dog is driving me crazy. I don't think that you, they can hear the dog though because the microphone's uh, over here. Could be. So it's okay, she's just crazy. We're she's, in the basement where it's nice and cool, and she's panning. But so I have she's to jumping all over. I have to have her in the basement though, so she doesn't eat the big dog's food. Yep. Logistics. So, uh, twenty-four of my friends have rated this average three point eight one out of five. Seventy-two thousand people have had this ratings three point five seven out of five. So no one has been overly impressed and thought, no. this is amazing. Rich wow. gave it a four. Okay. Kyle I don't know. I just I thought it would have a more strong citrusy. I thought it would have a more citrusy taste yeah. because it's flor like Florida. Right? Isn't that the idea? Yeah, key lime pie. No, that's lime. Well, but it's still citrus. Okay, but my point is... I thought being Florida orange, right. you would get more of an orange yeah. taste. I don't know if that's what they meant to do or not. But, but this eh. is one of the first rounds that we're getting up here in Michigan. Obviously, now that they distribute more. The yeah. one guy's on here, his was 4-3 2018. So they are canning a lot and sending them up here because ours is two weeks about. Yeah. So, yeah, not a bad beer. One to try if, if you're trying to get into that Belgian style or you like that Belgian style and you want to lower instead of like a triple or something like that. Yeah. Um, nice, clean Belgian yeast. I would is, say like this would be good at the beach. Because yeah. it's not heavy. It's not. But I would like more citrus. I, I yeah, would like it if it, it needs, tasted more orange. Right. And, you know, I don't want to go too commercial with it, but I don't know if a slice of orange in there, a la Oberon, would yeah. would do anything for it. But it is awful. Uh, he's going to say Belgian yeasty. I just don't like that flavor. Right. That strong of a... Yeah. But, you know, we tried yep. again. Cool. So that'll wrap up this beer review. Until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing. If you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and thumbs up and check out some of our other videos.